So let's take a look at WordPress. WordPress is a content management, actually a blogging platform that's grown into a pretty full featured content management system. Certainly a content management system that most people would find fairly simple to use and um, much simpler than some of the more complex uh, CMSs that are out there. And by content management, I simply mean a place that you can publish pages and specific content. Um, so we're taking a look at my book's website, ITCareerToolkit.com, and uh, the home of building your IT career. And you may have found this tutorial through that site. And I just want you to see some of the primary features of a blog in general, general and WordPress. So WordPress has menu items that can go to pages or blog entries, or in this case, a forum. And WordPress often follows a similar layout where you have a heading and then you have blog entries scrolling down the page. You have a sidebar, right or left sidebar in many cases that can have various pieces of content. They call these widgets. This widget is a text widget where I can put in HTML and I put this information about the book. You can have a place where they can sign up for blog updates. That's another widget recent post, um, and other information. So forum, when you added the forums or when I added the forums, it gave me a widget to show the various forum categories or forum topics. Um, so blog posts are kind of journaled blog entries in reverse date order, and pages are um, more static content. So um, about the book goes to an about page and um, has information, you know, you can have a page or a contact form, for instance. And I use WordPress, and I use the same theme, actually, for my book site, as well as my kind of general author consulting and, and songwriting site. So some of the same elements apply. I've got um, a text widget where I have information, get blog updates. I have a calendar widget here, and then I have other information that you can get to in the sidebar as well as a number of blog entries. And you can scroll down, get to the bottom. You can stipulate how many of these entries it shows. And then at the bottom, it'll say, oh, go take a look at older post. And you can see prior articles. And so um, you can also search the site. There's those features. But in any case, that's the primary layout um, of most WordPress sites. However, to see what's available, and this is really what you should take a look at, at wordpress.org uh, forward slash showcase, you can see all of these sites that are using WordPress, a lot of celebrity sites, a variety of business sites and individuals. And you can scroll down here and look by category. Um, you've got, uh, you know, you can go by celebrities and see who may be using the site. Chuck Yeager, Usain Bolt. Rolling Stones. So in any case, um, Howie, Howie Mandel, I was looking at his site a moment ago. If we click to it, you can go visit the site. And it will give you an idea of what is possible with WordPress. And so here's his site. So they've taken a specific theme or pre-built layout, and then they've customized it to create the look and feel that he wants. And WordPress has some powerful search engine features as well. So I'm going to show you just one. If I go up here and I do a search, and I say songwriter press kit. So doing a search for songwriter press kit, I've written a blog entry about how to create a songwriter press kit using Microsoft Publisher, and that article shows up right here. And then if we go under images, we also see that my press kit shows up in the top line of the images that come back. This is also true with Band Press Kit. I've blogged about that as well. So you can use it as a great tool for search engine placement. As we go through the rest of the topics in this tutorial, um, please feel free to send me your questions and or comments, suggestions for new information or other information you'd like to see about a given topic in using WordPress. And we'll go all the way through setting it up, you know, installing it on your site, where I host my sites and why and then some ideas about content strategy as well. So hopefully you find the information valuable, and I thank you once again for tuning in. You can either comment over at my blog to leave a question, or you can email me at info 
at itcareertoolkit.com. That's info at itcareertoolkit.com. And let's get on with the rest of the tutorial.